Hey guys, and here we are back with another one. And today with the topic regarding Akintosh, NVIDIA, AMD, AMD, NVIDIA. Now, a few months ago, we took a look at uh, Akintosh installation guide and so on and so forth, links down below. I did use to, to start with the NVIDIA GTX 960, which did work well, but I had a few issues. Now, one of the issues that I had is, as you guys know, I do use a triple display setup and you can see it right over there. Yes, you can, it's in frame. And one of the issues with the NVIDIA GPU is that after a while, and I'm talking about five minutes, half an hour, one hour, it was random. I would start to get uh, some glitches on the screen. I would start to get, especially when using Final Cut Pro 10, uh, a really delay or a really big lag on the timeline, which was awful. And you guys that work with video know how it works. Second, but we are talking about seven minutes and 52 seconds to render this particular file without QuickSync. Now, when we enable QuickSync on the Akintosh, if you guys take a look. And I did try a lot of web drivers. I tried everything that I could until that I decided to uh, get a AMD GPU and test it out on my system to see how it works. And what I can say is that I've been using it for more than one month, probably two months or so, and the experience has been great. Now, one thing that I would like to mention is when I did use the NVIDIA GPU on Mac OS, which is what I'm doing right now with AMD, but with the NVIDIA with one single display at 1080, I could work fine. The only reason that I would have issues was when I used my triple display or one single display at 4K, which is what I've got right now, 4K, 1080, 1080, and that caused issues. And once again, especially when I opened Final Cut Pro 10. When I didn't open Final Cut Pro 10, it looked that took longer to get some glitches and so on and so forth. Now, one other thing that I would like to share with you guys is that when I did the installation guide of the NVIDIA of the Akintosh with the NVIDIA GPU, I had one big issue and the cause was exactly the GPU. The Mac OS is not friendly of NVIDIA right now. That's the way that things work and we have to accept it or don't use Akintosh, uh, just buy a Mac or use Windows, doesn't matter. I didn't give up, but today I would like to share with you guys that if you follow my guides, which I will try to leave a link down below if I don't forget, if I do just let me know down below in the comment section and I'll post the link, but following that guide, the same guides and using an AMD GPU, which what I did, it doesn't give me any problem. It will be natively recognized and works great, has been working for the past one month and a half, two months. So why didn't I record this video earlier? Well, several reasons, one of which was I wanted to be sure that the information that I was sharing was the honest as possible, as I always do in my videos. And the second one is I was trying to figure out something and uh, I didn't need because we just recorded a video about Steam Link. If you haven't watched, just check the link down below. And one of my issues was I have to use an NVIDIA GPU and I have to swap every time that I want to game stream on Windows to an Android device and so on and so forth. At this moment, I don't with the new Steam Link app. So I wanted to see if I found a solution, which I didn't, but I was looking for a solution. I did try to have dual GPUs, AMD and Nvidia and all sorts of problems on macOS. On Windows, it was fine. I could swap in and have the two, display, have the two uh, graphics working, but on macOS, not at all. I would get all sorts of errors and I couldn't. So my solution was to replace the uh, GPU and then restart on Windows and it worked for a while, but it was, as you could imagine, really boring situation swapping a GPU to game stream on Windows and then inserting AMD GPU to have a better performance on Mac. OS. And that is over. Although I didn't find the solution for that problem, Valve released the Steam Link app, which great. I now can use the AMD and get uh, game streaming to Android devices using this uh, setup right over here without the NVIDIA GPU. And guys, one thing that I would like to mention is that I do love NVIDIA products. I do love AMD products. I'm not saying that this one is better than this one or this one is better than that one. I'm just saying that for the Akintosh experience, especially if you are using Final Cut Pro 10 or if you are using a triple display setup or any 4K display, then the best experience possible is at this moment 
AMD. And that is it. I'm going to shut up. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, so don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.